Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name's Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest and what is the traditional territory of the Coast Salish Nations. Um, it is Vlogmas Day 8, and today I'm just going to be sharing with you my weekly budget check-in uh, for December 2019. It's week one. Um, yesterday was a really fun, busy day. If you didn't watch that video, uh, go back and check it out um, and check out the awesome plants that I got. I have a plant tour coming out this week, but those plants won't be in it because I had already filmed it before I got them. So uh, look forward to that and check out the one from yesterday. And today we're going to get into these transactions. If you've been enjoying these updates every day this month, go ahead and subscribe. All right. So I have a lot of transactions. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. This was my last full triple side gig week. And well, maybe it should have been nicer because it was the last one. It was actually the hardest one. So I definitely found myself um, eating out a lot and, uh, you know, just those kinds of things. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and just go on down to uh, daily living to where the groceries and restaurants section is. Um, I stopped one day and got bread because I baked a bunch and I was just pouring it out of the freezer, but I finally ran out. So I went and got bread. And while I was there, I also got like a bagel with salmon cream cheese. And so that was $11.84 altogether, including tip. Um, so I'm going to just put that under groceries right now and not bother splitting it up. Um, okay. Yesterday, I actually did finally a actual grocery shop at Fred Meyer for $63.07, and I, I shared that in yesterday's video as well. I'm curious. Um, I went to Hagen, and I spent $12.90. I don't remember what that was for. <laughs> and let's see, I went to... Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> okay. So then let's talk restaurants. The other day um, was like the last full day of work and I just kind of like had to get out of my office. And so I went to get lunch, but then I kind of ran out of time and ended up eating kind of too expensive, terrible lunch. So not fun. So I spent $15.66 at this really bad Chinese restaurant. Um, like, you know, I just feel like it, like, you know, I don't mind, um, like Panda Express. So like to be really bad, like it was real bad. Okay. Then yesterday I had brunch with my friend at uh, just a kind of a, what's it called? Medicine Creek Cafe. Um, and I spent 22 32 <laughs> It was kind of a lot to spend on breakfast. Um, I got a chicken fried steak. It was worth it. It was, honestly, it was really good. Yeah, it was really good. Okay, I also, oh, I went to Safeway and I, I got um, some food for dinner on Friday night and it was $9.64. So it's going to go into groceries. I also went to Sonic this week. I don't know that I've ever even been to a Sonic, um, but I got popcorn chicken and I got um, jalapeno poppers. That was for dinner the night before my last class. Uh, well, not really my last class. <laughs> Sorry. The other night before I taught. And um, it was so delicious. <laughs> like, it was not nutritious at all, but man, it brought me a lot of joy. So that was 9.37. It's going to go into restaurants. All right. Let's see. Uh, I got my cat food. Chewy came through. That was 71.64. Man, that cat food. Expensive. All right. And I bought some bras, some really fancy bras. And if you have been watching for a while and you watched my wants video, my want list, those that has been on there for a long time. So I did that. I spent $136.73 on bras. And I knew that expense was coming and I didn't really budget it in. So whoops. I mean, I shot this video and I, I realized I'd missed something and I adjusted my budget and I shot it again. And um, yeah, I didn't budget it in. So I'm going to put it under, I guess I'm going to put it under fun money. No, I'm going to put it under clothing and shoes. So 
but then I might take fun money away from myself. Um, yeah, complicated. Yeah, the store is called the pencil test, which is really funny. I'm just gonna put this under clothing and shoes for right now and deal with it later. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna scroll back up to where I was. Wow, this is kind of spiraling a little bit. I did get some elder syrup that was $36. So I'm gonna put that under health. And I went to the plant store yesterday, also recorded. You can check that out. And I spent $24.05 and I'm gonna put that under household. I loved my plants so much. Okay, I also got some gas. So that's going to go under gas. And that was $37.55. Um, all right, I'm going to scroll all the way down to Sinking Fund because I picked up some gifts yesterday at Rainy Day Records 3601. It's going to go under upcoming travel because that's just all my Christmas expenses are all going in there, including cat sitting. Okay, so I also picked up um, an air plant and a card. So that was 1257 at Capital Forest. Okay, we are almost done. I'm going to roll it up here. I had my trans lifeline donation come out. That's $5 every month. That goes into sharing my income. My Patreon came out. That's $20 every month to a variety of different content makers. And um, my interest income all came in. So from the various accounts that I have, I got $11.75. $2.30, boom, and $1.57 for a total of $15.62. All right, that is all. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this budget update. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It was a long, it was a, it was a day. I just relaxed all day today. Um, I hope that you also had a relaxing day. Please tell me something that you did, the most chill thing that you did today. And I will see you in the next video, which is going to be tomorrow. All right, see you later.